Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal Mr. Butter coming back at you. And today I've got a pair of shoes on feet that I already did a review for. These haven't released yet in the US. They are the Moon Fossil Dunk Highs. I keep wanting to say Moon Shadow because like I said in the review, they remind me a lot of the Shadow 2.0 only they don't have like suede and new buck it's just all smooth leather but I keep wanting to call them the moon shadows and that's actually a Cat Stevens song so if I say that in the video just know I'm talking about the moon fossils but anyhow I swapped out the laces it came with laces that are the same color as this moon fossil the tannish colored leather that is on all the overlays I really really like the black laces and I really like the white laces I'm not sure which I prefer but I wanted to show you guys what they look like while I'm wearing them I decided to throw on a pair of jeans that look like they're from like 1992 and I love the way it goes together I just wanted to give you guys a look at how I plan on wearing them I'm not going to wear different colored laces in each I'll probably just go with all black in both shoes to start out with but I also like all white too just for a little bit of contrast anyhow let's get into it so on my right foot I've got the white laces and like I said I just think that pulls in a little bit of that bright white midsole I think that looks nice I prefer the white laces to the moon fossil laces but my favorite is probably the black so you'll have to let me know there is just something about having that black to match the black tongue and really the base of the shoe and while I'm talking about the base of the shoe in the review I hadn't really gotten a good look at these but I had made the comment that the leather was nothing to write home about and now while that's true for the moon fossil for the tan overlays the black leather on the base of this shoe feels great it's it's very very soft i don't really know what to compare it to it does seem more high-end than your standard gr dunk though and really like i mentioned in the review I'm most excited not just for the materials or anything but I'm most pumped just about how nice they look I love earth tones and I think for the winter time these are going to be easy to keep looking nice and new and I just think they look great And I also mentioned there is a there's a little bit of like sparkle in the Nike emblem on the tag on the tongue but I really don't understand why this is a women's exclusive release fortunately it just works out for me because I wear a ten and a half in dunk highs and it goes women's sizing goes to women's size 12 which is equivalent to a men's 10 and a half these fit perfect but i wouldn't be able to get any smaller than this so i'm glad that they continue to make them up to men's size 10 but i'm sure more people would like to wear this shoe that have a bigger foot than me I think these things look dope though. I also forgot to mention my Bape shirt. And it's a collaboration, I guess it's called Barber. I think it's a brand from the UK, so let me know if you're familiar with them, but I'm digging this. I almost feel like it has like a Burberry look to it because of that print, because of that check design, but I love this t-shirt. The jeans are Banana Republic, if anybody's wondering.
I just really like the fit of them because it reminds me of jeans that I wore back in high school. On my radar, as far as upcoming sneakers go, I really, really want to hit on the Cool Gray Jordan 11s. That's my favorite of the Jordan 11, and I'm actually hoping to double up on them. It, it should be doable, just because there's so many pairs of those shoes. So, I would really encourage patience when it comes to them, because... I think they're going to be easier to get than what people are thinking. Sometimes with dunk highs or dunk lows, you kind of get a misshapen toe box a little bit, but these are just perfect. And I'm not even really exaggerating when I say this is one of my favorite pickups of the year. Let me know what laces you all prefer in these. I think either one looks good, but I do think I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to go with the black. Well, I hope all you fine folks are doing well, and I hope you enjoyed this review. I really appreciate all y'all for tuning in. I am very humbled by how quick the channel has grown, and I just plan on keeping the content coming. I'm out.